computational thinking students in this tutorial we are going to look at a procedure similar to what the professors have done in lecture 14 in lecture 14 the professors execute a procedure where they are finding the maximum revenue made by a store in the shopping bill data set for this they maintain a variable which they call max which is supposed to be the max revenue and it is initialized to zero and as they go cart by cart for every new store they encounter they create a new variable and initialize it to zero and that store's variable will maintain the revenue for that store this sum variable for each store whenever it is greater than the max variable the max variable is also updated to the new maximum revenue amount in this way at the end of the procedure the max variable indicates the maximum revenue made by a store in the shopping bill data set for our tutorial now we are going to do a very similar procedure on the words data set in the words data set we might like to know which part of the speech contributes most characters to the text this is not the same thing as which part of speech has a maximum number of words on its count this is about the letter count per part of speech for example these are the pronouns in this text as you can see although their number is 7 their letter count will be quite less because the words are all pretty small they're just two letters or three letters so we are trying to find out which part of speech contributes the maximum letters to this text so we will go through this data card by card and every time we come across a new part of speech we will declare a variable for that part of speech initialize it to zero and that variable will keep track of the sum of characters for that part of speech and before that we also have a max letter count variable which is initialized to zero this will be updated whenever any of the individual part of speech variables have a value greater than the max value so let's begin here we have the first card which is a pronoun and this is the first time we are seeing this part of speech so we have a variable called pronoun letter count this is initialized to zero and then we increase the value to since max letter count has been initialized to 0, 2 is greater than 0, we update our max letter count to 2. Going next, we have a verb. We haven't seen a verb before, so we now declare and initialize this variable to 0, and the variable is verb letter count. Now it is updated to 3. 3 being greater than 2, the max is also updated to 3. We see a noun here, noun is again a new part of speech. So, noun letter count is declared and initialized to 0. And now it is increased to 6, it is updated to 6. Which means max also has to be updated to 6. Because 6 is greater than 3. Another noun and this time the letter count is 7 so the total noun letter count would be 6 plus 7 which is 13 and 13 being greater than 6 max is also updated to 13 one more noun and this is 11 so the total noun count total noun letter count would be 13 plus 11 that is 24 since 24 is greater than max, max is also updated to 24. Now this is another verb. So verb letter count comes to 6. But 6 is lesser than 24, so max is not updated. 
then we have an adjective this is the first time we are seeing an adjective so we declare adjective letter count and initialize it to 0 and we update it to 9 we have a preposition which is new and so preposition letter count is declared initialized to 0 and updated to 2 this doesn't affect the max of course one more verb so we are now at verb letter count being 10 one more pronoun the pronoun letter count is now 5 one more noun and the noun letter count is now 24 plus 4 that is 20 8. Now 28 being greater than 24, the max is also updated to 28. This is another pronoun and the pronoun letter count is now 7. A verb, verb letter count will now be 10 plus 10, 20. Another noun, this time the noun letter count goes to 34 and thus the max is also updated to 34. Now we have an adverb which is new so we introduce a new variable called adverb letter count we initialize it to 0 and then we update it to 9. Now we have one more adjective making the adjective letter count 19. Then there is one preposition the preposition letter count is now 4. An article article is new so new variable article letter count which is equal to 0 and then updated to 3. Now this is calendar is a noun with letter count 8 that gives us noun letter count is 34 plus 8 which is 42. And this is also the new maximum. We have a preposition now with 5 letters so that is preposition letter count is 9. One more article, article letter count is 6. An adjective, adjective letter count is now 19 plus 9, 28. One more noun, the noun letter count is now 49, which makes the max also 49. New preposition, preposition letter count is now 11. New noun, the noun letter count is now 57, max is lesser than 57 so max is updated to 57 a conjunction is new so we have conjunction letter count being declared initialized to 0 and updated to 3 one more noun so we now at 63 for noun letter count 63 being greater than 57 max is also updated to 63 now the pronoun letter count is 9 the verb letter count is 23, adjective letter count is 37, preposition letter count is 13, verb letter count 26, preposition letter count 17, article letter count 9, noun letter count 69. This requires us to update the max as well, max is now 69. One more noun and noun letter count is 73 which means the max also has to be updated to 73. Preposition letter count is 19. Noun letter count is now 77 so max is also updated to 77. Conjunction letter count is now 6. Noun letter count is now 87 which means max is also updated to 87. Pronoun letter count is 11, verb letter count is 35, preposition letter count is 21, article letter count is 12, adverb letter count is 13, one more noun and noun letter count is now at 94, the max has to be updated to 94, preposition letter count is 23. And now letter count is now a hundred. So max is also updated to hundred. Article letter count is 15. Adjective letter count is 43. And adjective letter count is now 49. 
Now letter count is now 108. Max is also updated. Article letter count is 18. Adjective letter count is now 57. One more noun. Noun letter count is now 119. So max is also updated to 119. Pronoun letter count is now 14. Noun letter count is 124. Leading to the max also being updated to 124. One more noun. Noun letter count is now 131. Max letter count is also going to be 131. Conjunction letter count is now 9. Noun letter count is now updated to 141. Max letter count also has to be updated to 141. Preposition letter count is 27. Pronoun letter count is 17. Adjective letter count is 61. Adjective letter count is now again updated to 65. And one more noun. So noun letter count is 145. Max letter count is also now updated to 145. And this is the last card. So 145 is the maximum letter count for a part of speech in this text. Here, as you can see, the nouns are typically long words and there are also a lot of them. So they occupy maximum space, that is they have the maximum letter count in this paragraph. And this maximum letter count we know to be 145. Thank you.